All right, everybody, this is Ross the Fig Boss. Today, we're looking at my long dedute tree. This is a tree that is just pretty massive. It's one of the fastest growers that I have. It puts out suckers like no other, and it even has the ability to fruit after dieback. Um, and a lot of these branches here are forming now their fruits, but it's also very hardy. And the tree this year has survived the winter. And because of that, we actually have a Braba here that's ripe. And combined with just the ridiculously hot and dry weather we've been having, this I imagine is probably going to be the best long to do fig I probably will ever eat, or at least definitely have had to this date. This thing is massive. Typically the Brabas are large, the main crop is large, but the whole thing, guys, is shriveled, wrinkled, drying on the tree and it could even go longer tomorrow though we're finally getting some rain we've been in a drought and these drought like conditions are totally changing the complexities and the quality of the fruits it's actually a very nice thing when you have dry weather for the whole duration that these figs ripen the drier weather sucks out the water from the fruits and it concentrates the flavor and has a higher bricks that way clearly a longer elongated fig it's typically you'll see that with the braba let's open this up i'm so excited to try this oh man look at that this just looks like pure jam and sometimes this variety can look like a water balloon at least it feels like a water balloon. Um, this is just super thick and jammy. Oh my goodness. All right, let's try it. Whoa. Oh man, that is ridiculously sweet. Oh my God. That might be maybe one of the sweetest figs I've ever eaten. This reminds me a lot of a, a white triana. So when my white trianas are on the tree, they tend to have to hang for a long time. They concentrate, they get this kind of fruity berry flavor and they become very sweet. The similar consistency to this. Um, and that's a really high quality piece of fruit is white triana, a really tasty variety when ripened properly. This is insane. Wow. Now, shout out to um, Mario in Connecticut. Unfortunately, he's no longer with us, but when I went to go visit Mario in Connecticut, he actually uh, showed me his orchard and I got to try a lot of his figs and tasted a number of different varieties that day. One of which was um, a long to do type that he has. And it's called uh, Lungo Fico de Portugalo or Fico Lungo de Portugalo, which is just really another name for long to do. And here is that tree. This particular tree, I'm gonna see fruit on it at the end of the season, but the fruit that I got to experience at Mario's place was unbelievably good he had not really noticed it uh, we were crossing paths to the tree he went on to the next one and then i said head hold on mario there's one right here and i picked it showed it to him he cut it in half for me and it was incredibly good the best long to do i ever had because it was hanging for so long and it was a different long to do in my opinion it wasn't nearly as big like a water balloon as some of them can get it got really nice and dried so i'm hopeful that this particular long to do this fico longo de portugalo can be better now it could just be the fact that this one is a bit smaller the fruits were certainly a bit smaller that was really the main difference but it could just be that my long to do in the ground forms these massive fruits because it's in the ground 
And then if I had it in a pot for a longer period of time, I probably would experience something like this more often. Uh, not to say that this is a bad fig by any means, but I think and I'm hoping that this particular strain of it or the source of it will do better than the one I have in the ground. Uh, but for my money, this is incredible. We'll see how the figs turn out this year and see if they become like supersized. Uh, but if they do, I think the quality will probably be less, but we'll see if the, uh, the rain comes in at any point this year. It feels like it's never gonna rain. Um, but this is just incredible. What a ridiculous treat this is. So again, that was long to do. Long of August. Thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you guys for the next video, all right? Take care. Hit that subscribe button. Check out our blog, figboss.com.